If you search some information about uh, seduction training, seduction community, you will find tons of information about PUA pickup artists, and uh, there is a, a lot of negative information about this. So the question is, are community seduction afford, or do they really improve mentally the health of ordinary attendees? What are the stack behind the scene? Is it about desperation, men desesperated and go to those training course? Or are the norms of the society too short to give an answer to the men and world? Where are the paradigms? And if there is any form of cognitive behavioral therapy to be found in such courses? This is what the video is about with the help of this psychological department of this University of Canada. The inception of uh, seduction started in the 90s, uh, for example, with a man named Rose Jeffrey with uh, speak seduction. But finally, it started to be popular with a book uh, written by the journalist and it, it was named The Game. Uh, it was associated with John Markovich, where his, his nickname is uh, Mystery, and those people started to show on the TV. But uh, after um, um, some bad foods came from those type of people, and some scandal raised uh, because some uh, instructors were having some toxic uh, behavior. What is um, seduction community? It's also named the LER. It's a group of people gathering in big cities and they try to improve their knowledge by peer reviews. So attendees could follow because some people make money off their teaching and it leads to some workshop or some boot camp, also some online courses, online uh, coaching, and books are available. And dedicated forum came also on the vicinity. So this is to describe the universe and the materials and people. So you have the attendees, people interested in uh, people who are subscribing in the layer and some guy they are professional or not professional who make some courses for some money and some are making a living there are not a lot of those guys uh, they are named like uh, pickup pick up artists most of the time and they can teach so rather than focusing on material and content written by a uh, pickup artist or some guru's lifestyle, the studies is focusing on uh, one, the reason why uh, young men want to join such community. And two, the daily, monthly impact on the life of those people. What's the most interesting? Lifestyle of some guru? Well, probably a mm, few dozen in the world or the real life of ordinary people who try to really improve themselves. Some words about the men who have conducted this study. First of all, in the beginning, they have nothing to do with the seduction community, the seduction scene. Uh, they, used, they decided to use an open-minded and honest and authentic approach. In one sense, a more compatible approach in line with social sciences, using a non-interpretative stance and gathering facts. Their name are Rob Wesley and June Wei Zhu. One of the consequences of this Western society all time changing is that um, mental men health at, is at stake. A lot of individuals are now de by the changing norm. 
29% of millennium felt lonely. 27 uh, have no close friend. 40% of men in America and at the university are men. 60% for women. A lot of suicide are done by men, 70% at least. <clears throat> and you need to know that the British Parliament had launched uh, an official inquiry due to the gravity of the situation. Many female uh, psychologists have written some book about this concern. Those two researchers worked to conduct uh, this study. First of all, they did a pre-campaign pre that started by acquiring some background about the culture and also about the specific vocabulary. Um, they did a lot of cross interview with uh, of active participants of the community. Each participant was followed on the feed and they participated to many uh, events of those community, including some boot camp. And finally, they shared daily life with participants. So we are far away from people who have an pseudo understanding, a light understanding by having watched some video, few video, or just read 10 or 30 pages of a book, for example. So they tried to do this by making a lot of um, interview and understanding the, the daily life of those people. One interesting question is why men are joining such community? In the study, the average age of the men were quite young. So the first motivation to join such situation uh, is first to meeting women and better meeting women. But behind this, there is also this feeling of loneliness. And they started to feel like uh, some um, um, real life into this group, which is not without danger. This is one of the problems of such uh, community. It can come with some negative effects. In their uh, psychological study, um, one of the reasons why men are joining such community or courses is, the and that's very important for me, lack of male role and the needs for guidance. How to be a man, how to meet a woman. And for many of those young guys, because the study focused, uh, it was, um, the group was composed of many young men, the absence of fathers have created a blackout because the mother never feel it and what they could say was totally unsweetened. That's lead, in fact, that we will see to the unskilled men. They don't know how to do with this woman. <laughs> That's one of the reasons. This stuff of PUSO has some limits, of course. First of all, the community shouldn't be like a sect. It, could, it should be open. The instructor is not a super guru. It's just a, a normal guy in a way. And of course, the quality of the tutoring could be very unequal, depending of uh, teacher, individuals, <clears throat> and sh those uh, tutoring should meet expectation of the attendees, and of course, especially when it is a paid uh, tuition. Impacts on men's life. First, in general, participants noted that community involvement successfully addressed of shyness, unquietness, social anxiety, and that's common problem for men, for example, social anxiety. And furthermore, for some, uh, anxiety, depression, so um, if you uh, psychological trouble, and uh, vanish it or get lighter, 
and they get better mental health and well-being issues uh, started to get some positive results. That's what they have uh, watched uh, with those attendees. So if we go into the detail of the impact on men's life uh, about social engagement, it um, the study realized that it was accelerating uh, social integration for men. And in the study, some new uh, migrants were present in this study and it helped them. Second, those guys were better uh, at job. They had better success at job in uh, business presentation, in public speaking, and of fortunately, and of course, they have better uh, interaction with women. There are some problems however with such type of communities and it happens when men are focusing too much on the result and they spend too much time and they have too much um, intensity in, of involvement with this community and it starts to be like an addiction. It's like addiction like casino, like sex and your addiction to seduction. And therefore, you start to objectifying those relationships. You are making some mathematical pattern approach with a woman, and um, it starts to be very unnatural. You start to feel some sheets with some numbers to get some result and to get some prob uh, statistic. <laughs> and this is not about relationship, of course. And so the danger is that they are missing some real connection and making some mechanism uh, relationship, mechanism seduction. The second problem is if those attendees and men have some real deep uh, psychological issues, uh, not only this type of tuition or community will not fix those issues but it's maybe it could be worse in very few cases that could be the problem so it's not intended to replace a psychotherapy or psychoanalyst shrink one of the reasons why men are more prone to use such uh, seduction tuition is that when they need some mental help, they are unlikely, compared to the woman, to go to some specialist. And so they tend to avoid, men tend to avoid uh, formal mental health services. And um, they have this perception that shrinks, for example, uh, I would say like a feminist um, so and they would believe that those services will not answer to the men to their real needs. This is one of the reasons also why such men are more prone to go to such type of tuition. One of the bottom line of this study uh, is very generally participants are reporting that their involvement with such community led for them to a range of psycho, uh, psychosocial uh, benefit and all those benefits have improved their mental health and well-being. So we are far, far away from previous studies or some video that are in fact gossiping that and proclaiming that seduction community are just a fraud. Generally speaking, it's because that the personality of the gurus of the well-known pickup parties is very discussed and there is like a vendetta around those pseudo guru. But this study is not about the guru if they are true guru, true PUA, true pickup artists, if they are good, no. It's more about uh, the guy who are going there 
and what is the benefit from them? So we have the, um, the site, this is from the attendees site, and that's quite interesting. Most of the time, there are some benefits, and the benefits are good. The social norms are changing in a world, in a Western world, uh, where the society is moving very fast. And um, it happened that compared to the 80s, 70s, that we are not fitted to the same social challenges and we start to be uh, socially deskilled. So those attraction communities are reskilling centers, in fact. And reskilling means and includes self improvement self-discipline, personal growth, and individual empowerment. And nowadays, if you go to YouTube, on internet, on magazine, you will find a lot, plenty of topics about this, especially, especially this, you self-discipline, how to be an alpha, how to perform a better with women. So the conclusion is, accordingly to this study, mental well-being, global benefits in social, romantic, and even professional. And when we say social, it's not only about women, it's also about relationship with all the men. So all this is generally uh, reached and what is important is that the self-esteem get better, gets better. And that is very important today because self-esteem of men uh, is very attacked in the Western society on a daily basis. And self-esteem is very important because this is like a hastily shield to protect you from cancer, depression, suicide, and so on. So you shouldn't have too much self-esteem, but I would say that in average, there are many guys who are suffered from too low self-esteem. My personal experience with this study and my own life, my previous life, and my life on the field, match this study 100%. I cannot agree more. I'm not here to discuss about the, uh, about the merit of uh, the pseudo guru. I don't care about them. I would just say that uh, in a way or in another, even if they have some darkness, a lot of dark darkness in their personality, they bring something on the table. And there are many average guy who will retrieve some benefit from this. And what is quite interesting is that the cognitive behavioral therapy CBT has very common growth with attraction community. Uh, like action plan, homework, goal setting, peer review, or instructor review. So you are the own actor of your own life or you become the own actor of your own life. You are not just an innocent victim or the one who cannot do anything. You can change many things, but you need first to work on you. And this is, in my opinion, very close to the cognitive behavior therapy. And this is what is why it's so interesting to be able to change your relationship with women because first you change the relationship with yourself first. You work first and all time on you. And this is why, in fact, it's absolutely not about uh, some uh, uh, reset to, to learn, uh, some um, few lines you, you learn. The, 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 work, the work will, will endure. You, you will need time. You will need probably three or four years to get better. So just guess, ask like a psychotherapist or 
um, work, it's the same, the same. You don't change yourself in just two weeks. You need a lot of work. And that's the beauty of life.